NASA warns Betelgeuse's explosion could be imminent. Did you know that in terms of distance from Earth, Betelgeuse is the closest red supergiant star? One day it will become a supernova, although exactly when is unknown. Regardless, NASA has warned that Betelgeuse's explosion might be just around the corner. So keep watching this video to get the full scoop. What you need to know. When Betelgeuse's brightness started to noticeably fade in late 2019, it made headlines all around the world. Several people thought that the big event was imminent because Betelgeuse suddenly dimmed peculiarly. But Betelgeuse hasn't gone boom just yet. Betelgeuse is a prominent star in Orion Hunter's constellation, and it has recently dimmed, brightened, and diminished again, seemingly resuming a less active state. Yet, further dimming is possible at any time, but when exactly is what scientists are yet to figure out. Nonetheless, being the second brightest star in the constellation, it denotes the right shoulder of Orion the Hunter. The crimson glow of Betelgeuse is undeniable, and you can see it for yourself. During the first two months of each year, Betelgeuse is in an excellent position for viewing the evening sky, so feast your eyes all you want. Rigel is another prominent star in the constellation, so take note of these two extremely bright stars, Betelgeuse and Rigel which flank the straight row of three somewhat dim stars. If you gaze up at night in January or February, you'll see the row of stars that makes up Orion's belt. Betelgeuse is located on Orion's right shoulder. What caused Betelgeuse's sudden dimming? With the help of the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories, astronomers have concluded that the bright red supergiant star Betelgeuse produced a massive coronal mass ejection in 2019. A coronal mass ejection or CME, is an expulsion of plasma mass and magnetic field from a star's corona. The huge coronal mass ejection on Betelgeuse caused it to lose a large portion of its apparent surface. Interestingly, there have never been any examples of such abnormal behavior from a normal star. Coronal mass ejections occur frequently when our sun expels chunks of flimsy outer atmosphere. In contrast, the CME from Betelgeuse expelled 400 billion times as much mass as a standard CME. It appears that a cloud of hot gas emitted by the star temporarily covered some of the star's light, explaining the mysterious dimming of Betelgeuse. One day, Betelgeuse will probably go boom. In theory, Betelgeuse might be as close to Earth as 724 light years away. Some scientists estimate Betelgeuse is further away, as determining distances to red supergiant stars is a common and vexing problem in astronomy. Despite its distance, Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars visible from Earth. Its intrinsic brilliance makes it approximately 100,000 times brighter than our Sun. Betelgeuse's great energy does deplete its fuel, which hastens the end of its existence. So such brilliance comes at a cost. When the star finally runs out of fuel and collapses under its weight, it will explode in a dazzling supernova. During the next weeks or months, Betelgeuse will become as bright as the full moon and be visible during the day. But when will it finally explode? This is unlikely to occur throughout our lifetimes. In reality though, nobody can predict precisely when it will go off. Tomorrow or a million years from today, anything is possible. Does Betelgeuse's supernova threaten to destroy Earth? Our planet is too far away from Betelgeuse for its explosions to threaten, much less wipe out life as we know it. Supernovae can destroy Earth if they are closer than 50 light years, but thankfully, Betelgeuse is more than 14 times that distance. Instead of destruction, everyone on Earth at the time will only witness a very bright star in the night sky. Betelgeuse rises just after sunset at mid-northern latitudes on January 1st of each year, and nighttime views of the star are best in January and February. This star will be directly south in the early evening sky by the start of March, and by the middle of May, you can see it briefly in the west after sunset. In early summer, Betelgeuse moves behind the sun, but by mid-July, it is once again visible in the east before sunrise. Betelgeuse is easily recognizable due to its mellow orange-red hue. It's perfect for persuading skeptics that stars do have a rainbow of hues. Alpha stars are the brightest in their respective constellations. A fainter star than Rigel, Betelgeuse is still Alpha Orionis. For much of the United States, Canada, and Europe, as well as the rest of the Northern Hemisphere, 
Betelgeuse is the seventh brightest star in the sky. Pop culture, history, and mythology. Surely you've seen the film Betelgeuse. If you have, then you already know that there is a resemblance between that and the name of this star. Arabic is used for the appropriate naming of several prominent stars. This is evidence of the preeminence of Arabic astronomers and astrologers in Europe before the Renaissance. The Arabic phrase, the armpit of the giant, is where the term Betelgeuse originates from. The giant is a reference to Orion, but Betelgeuse may be a hand or shoulder as some scholars have suggested. Betelgeuse, the bright star near Orion's right shoulder, has a mysterious origin and appears on numerous obsolete star atlases. It is hardly unexpected that most portrayals of Betelgeuse have an anatomical connection. Given that Orion is typically depicted as a giant, a warrior, a hunter, a god, or some other anthropomorphic or animal figure in ancient mythology. The Sanskrit word could be translated as arm, although it more likely referred to the stag's leg. Betelgeuse was interpreted as either the caiman's or the turtle's hind or front leg in certain regions of Brazil. Yet Betelgeuse was seen as a component of a ceremonial drum's rim in ancient Japan. Summed up, Betelgeuse will eventually become a supernova, albeit it may be some time in the future from our perspective. If it does go off, it will be visible during the day here on Earth. But at this distance, Earth is safe from harm. Betelgeuse calms down after losing its cool. The monster star is still trying to get back on its feet after its devastating disruption in 2019. Meanwhile, it continues doing some very unusual things. The interior is sort of bouncing as explained by Andrea Dupree of the Center for Astrophysics, Harvard and Smithsonian in Cambridge, Massachusetts. These discoveries provide insight into the mass loss that occurs in dying red stars when their nuclear fusion furnaces exhaust and they explode as supernovae. Their eventual outcome depends heavily on how much mass they lose. And while Betelgeuse's unusually spoiled behavior is concerning, it does not indicate the star is poised to explode. Hence, the mass loss event is not always a precursor to an impending explosion. Now, Dupree is putting together the fragments of the star's petulant conduct before, after, and during the eruption to tell the story of a titanic convulsion in an elderly star on a scale never before seen. New spectroscopic and imaging data has been collected by the Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory satellite, the Hubble Space Telescope, the American Association of Variable Star Observers, and the Stella Robotic Observatory. According to Dupree, Hubble data was essential in solving the puzzle. An event of such significant mass ejection from a star's surface has never been witnessed before. Something is happening there that observers can't quite put their fingers on. It's a brand new phenomenon, and we can see fine surface characteristics by using Hubble to view it up close. The evolution of stars is being broadcast live before our eyes. It was a gigantic outburst in 2019. It's possible that the event was triggered by a massive convective plume rising from the star's core, a process that took over a million miles. The cooling piece of the photosphere caused shocks and pulsations, which blasted off the chunk of the photosphere, leaving the star with a massive cold surface area underneath the dust cloud. Betelgeuse is having a hard time getting better after being hurt. A fragment of the photosphere, weighing several times as much as our moon, blew off into space and cooled into a dust cloud, blocking the star's light as viewed from Earth. Even from a distance, the star's decline, which started in late 2019, was visible to observers tracking its brightness variation. The fact that the supergiant's 400-day pulsation rate appears to have vanished, at least temporarily, is even more remarkable. Astronomers have been tracking this pattern in Betelgeuse's brightness and surface motions for about two centuries, and its upheaval is evidence of the explosion's severity. Dupree suggests that the interior convection cells of the star, which produce the regular pulsing, may be swirling around like an unbalanced washing machine tub. According to Trace and Hubble Spectra, the photosphere may be repairing itself, but the surface is still bouncing like a dish of gelatin cake. Thankfully, Despite the bouncing, Betelgeuse doesn't seem to be exploding anytime soon. Perhaps it is still regathering its energy to perform the amazing spectacle. Thanks for watching.